Welcome to the Mint Report, our wrap-up of the day's business news. Here are the top stories. SEBI plans new initiative to track companies raising public money illegally. Retail inflation speeds up in August. And markets break a nine-day winning streak. We start with India's capital markets regulator, SEBI. Its legal victory against two Sahara Group companies has prompted SEBI to prepare for more such fights in the future. Mint has learned that SEBI plans to set up offices across the country. These local units will keep tabs on any companies trying to pass off public issues as private placements. SEBI believes there are small companies raising public money through so-called collective investment schemes. A CIS allows companies to pool investor money for its purposes without having management control over the fund. And at least one telecom company is challenging the government over the upcoming 2G auction. Idea Cellular has gone to the Supreme Court over the issue. It claims the government is causing an artificial scarcity of airwaves. Idea says the Department of Telecommunications is creating a difficult environment for both operators and consumers. The DOT plans to auction only about two-thirds of the spectrum freed up after the cancellation of more than 100 2G licenses by the Supreme Court in February. Moving to the economy, retail inflation has returned to double-digit levels. India's consumer price index gathered pace in August as costs of food items went up. The index stood at 10.03% for the month. In July, it was 9.86%. Prices of vegetables alone soared 21% during August. And those of pulses and similar items rose 16%. The retail inflation numbers came out just one day after the Reserve Bank abstained from reducing interest rates in its policy review. And finally, Indian markets broke a nine-day winning streak on Tuesday to end in the red. The Sensex dropped 46 points to 18,496 and the Nifty fell 10 to 5,600. Shares of financial firms that had done well during the nine-day rally went into retreat. ICICI Bank lost 1.1% on the BSC and mortgage lender HDFC fell 0.56%. Other stocks declined because of more specific reasons. Sensex Heavyweight Reliance Industries tumbled 2.11% on the BSE after its share price climbed beyond the maximum price of 870 that was set for a buyback program. And Tata Motors sank 1.3% after its UK unit JLR reported lower than expected monthly sales. And that's all we have for you. Thanks for watching.